joined for the rest of the hour by Mike Adams, the Health Ranger, another great Central Texan, reaching millions of people every day through naturalnews.com and all the books and other great work they're doing. Leaked documents reveal U.S. diplomats actually work for Monsanto. And a few, quote, mainstream articles have this, but buried in them that this has come out. I want to get into that. Also, Dr. Andrew Wakefield has filed suit against the so-called journalist uh, that put out uh, the reported hoax that his research had been discredited. We're working on getting him on very soon, but I know that uh, Mike Adams, Wakefield is here in Austin as well, uh, can uh, speak to that. And also, he's got a new editorial out about uh, Ron Paul, uh, 10 Reasons Why Liberals, Progressives, and Others Should Vote for Ron Paul over Obama. And joining us via video Skype from his farm slash ranch outside Austin is Mike Adams. Mike, great having you back with us. Hey, Alex, great to be back with you. Thanks for having me on today. Uh, let's tackle this situation with Monsanto first that you guys break down. I mean, we've known Monsanto owns judges. We've known that they force this stuff into third world countries, Europe. You know, even if 95% in France don't want it, it gets crammed through. Uh, but now we learn the diplomats who can get other trade deals, money to governments, are actually, the, they're not even there in the interest of America or the U.S. It's all for Monsanto. Uh, this is amazing. Yeah, it's pretty clear that the diplomats are really working for Monsanto. They do things like they threaten trade wars against countries that resist the Monsanto seed imperialism. And uh, you, you've seen that come out in WikiLeaks documents as well. But in addition, Alex, we have other breaking news on Monsanto today that may be even bigger. Uh, if you'd like, I, I can cover some of that. It's some just stunning new research that, that breaks, that completely disintegrates Monsanto's excuse about why GM foods are safe. You want me to cover that? Well, that's what's always amazing when you come on. You're always breaking something big. Sure, break it right here. Thank you. All right, yeah. Uh, this, is, this is just starting to hit the Internet. Uh, new research published in the science journal Cell Research indicates that the RNA of plants actually passes through the digestive system, goes into the blood, and starts to affect the organs of mammals. Now, what this means is that the main excuse of Monsanto that GM foods are safe no longer holds any water because they say the RNA, the DNA, doesn't get absorbed or digested, digested so it doesn't matter. In truth, it does matter. Here's what's being found now. This is published, again, in, in, in Cell Research, and it shows that the RNA of rice plants goes into the blood, attaches to the liver cells, and alters liver function, modifying LDL cholesterol levels in the body. What this means, Alex, this is going to open up a whole new branch of science, dietary science. It means that we're not just eating vitamins, minerals, fiber, carbohydrates, and proteins. We're eating DNA, we're eating RNA, but, but, but this is amazing, though. We already know from the hundreds of studies going back 20, 30 years that no matter what GMO crop it is, when they alter one trait, it changes randomly, hundreds or even thousands of others. And in every case, uh, it's, it, they're showing in mice, guinea pigs, cows, massive infertility, organ failure, uh, within three generations, as you know, uh, total sterility. I mean, well, this, is, this is Armageddon. That's absolutely right. And until now, there wasn't really an understood mechanism for explaining why these things are happening. Why are there high allergies? Why the high rates of infertility and so on? Now, this mechanism reveals why. Because when we eat these foods, Alex, we're eating information. And this information alters the expression of our internal organs. Now, this is crucial to understand. It even goes back to American Indian lore and legend. You know, when they say when you eat, let's say, a buffalo, you become the buffalo, or the buffalo becomes part of you. You are what you eat. And until now, science thought that just meant the vitamins and the minerals. Now we're understanding that you become the information in a small way of the animal you eat or the plant you eat. Well, the so ancients if, knew this. They said that if you ate red meat, it would make you more aggressive, make you get bigger cause right. a larger uh, cc size brain and we've now seen this in carnivores of course we become what we eat in fact here's a study that came out three years ago there's hundreds of these international journal of biological sciences doesn't get more prestigious monsanto's gmo corn linked to organ failure study reveals and it goes on in a study re released by the international journal of biological sciences analyzing the effects of genetically modified foods and mammalian health researchers found that agricultural giant monsanto's gmo corn is linked to organ damage in rats i mean this is massive my friend it's, it's massive and it's, it's just blowing away monsanto's excuse 
This is from Monsanto's own website. I'm going to quote from them directly. They say, quote, there is no need to test the safety of DNA introduced into GM crops. They also say there is no need for or value in testing the safety of GM foods in humans. So they're saying no testing necessary because they say that the DNA and the RNA doesn't go into the human body. Yeah, we just know in every species, it basically causes species implosion and total disintegration of the species. And, of course, this is all just a eugenics operation. The globalists all have their seed vaults, are obsessed with only organic, will eat none of what they produce. This, this is eugenics. I mean, we've got all the documents. Yeah, it is, and it's, there's even another layer to this. It goes beyond all that. If you think about that these crops are artificially modified to produce insecticides, and they're not normal, they're not wild-crafted crops, it means that the more GMOs we eat, Alex, the less human we become. I mean, in, in a very chemical way, in a well, biochemical way. They admit that way. suddenly our DNA is all breaking down and almost everybody's is damaged. The sperm counts down by 87%. Cancer's all exploding across the board. I mean, there's no doubt this stuff is, again, with rats or guinea pigs, they can see three generations in just a, a year. With humans, the generations don't generally start a next one for 20 years. We're now four, two generations into just the beginnings of this, and we're already seeing massive devastation. Imagine when we're a full two generations or three in, well, they plan to have their new world order in by then and, 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 and basically cover up what they've done. That, that's right. I think this is the way to disintegrate the future of the, of the human gene pool of those that they want to eliminate or control. Now, getting back to this study, there's an important quote that your audience will want to hear. It showed that the microRNA, this is a quote directly from the study published in Cell Research, uh, September 20 of 2011. It says, quote, the microRNA have been widely shown to modulate various critical biological processes, including differentiation, that means cell specialization, apoptosis, related to cancer, proliferation, the immune response, and the maintenance of cell and tissue identity. Well, that right there tells you that if you eat the wrong information, and I mean that literally, if you eat the wrong information, you can start to grow cancer cells and your fertility is just going to plummet. It's now science, which means that Monsanto's excuse about GMOs being safe is quack science. It's just corporate marketing and has no basis whatsoever in reality. So now, Everybody out there who is opposed to GMOs, like you and I are and most of your audience, we now have yet another scientific reason to have a lot of caution about eating GMOs because it changes our human expression. It changes who we are. It makes us less human. Well, that's right. And then just the mercury alone, the vaccines are screwing up the DNA. That's admitted. And, and, and you can see the effects of it. But to look at the huge hoax that is Monsanto and other big GMO c companies that brought us Agent Orange and you know, uh, aspartame and all of these these plagues, they cold-bloodedly literally control the judges. They'll infect your crops, because plants aren't one mommy, one daddy. You, you know, one percent of your corn or soybean is found to be theirs. It blew into your field. It contaminated you. You have your seed purchase records that it's 99 percent your seed, but, but there's a little bit of their genetics. Because they infected you, the courts rule you're in trouble. This is like if a robber breaks in your house and rapes your wife, you go to jail because you were trespassing when he came in and raped your wife and killed her with a claw hammer and then knocked your teeth out and then poured gasoline on your children. Uh, you go to jail. The cops come and say, uh, you trespassed. You're like, but he's here burning my house down. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I mean, literally, it's that, it, but it has to be that ridiculous. Europe doesn't want it. Asia doesn't want it. But still, it pops up everywhere. Uh, they go buy plots of land. Other companies do. They plant it in the ditches. It, they, it's a war. It, and they've said that. We're going to take over. And, and, well, we, and they're prosecuting a war against us. It's this pattern of total runaway criminality that we see everywhere, Alex. It's not just an agriculture where, like you said, it's completely ridiculous. Monsanto's seeds contaminate your farm and then you're guilty? That's crazy. But look at MF Global, the same thing. They steal your money and no one gets indicted, no one gets prosecuted. It's just outright theft. And in the world of Monsanto and seeds and pharmaceuticals, it's the outright theft of intellectual property and the criminalization of all of those common everyday people who are not connected to the global elite. So now law no longer applies. It's who you know, it's who you're connected to, it's whether you're deeply embedded in the system of corruption that's running our nation. That's what determines whether you're guilty or innocent, not whether you violated any laws or, or laws of nature for that matter. 
Amazing, amazing. You know, I I, I want to put up on screen naturalnews.com. You've got extremely powerful headlines, uh, and I want to go through these quickly here, and then uh, go back into Monsanto. Ten reasons why even Democrats and liberals and progressives are choosing Ron Paul over Obama. Dr. Andrew Wakefield sues BMJ journalist uh, Brian Deere for defamation. Study statin drugs linked to higher diabetes risk. Action alert. Pro-fluoride fanatics pushing Pinellas County, Florida, commission to reinstate water fluoridation. Uh, and it just goes on and on uh, right there. Which one of those stories you want to tackle first, Mike? Well, let's go to Ron Paul because as soon as I posted that story last night at about midnight Texas time, it immediately began to go viral, Alex. It was, it was really wonderful. And it's got a lot of shares today. A lot of people are, are having positive comments. That article is about why liberals, progressives, Democrats should choose Ron Paul over Obama because Ron Paul is a better, uh, more a high integrity, more consistent person with the things that even liberals care about, such as legalizing medical marijuana, ending the wars, uh, getting rid of the secret military prisons, protecting free speech, and so on. So he's he's a better conservative than all the conservatives, and he's a better Democrat than Obama because he's a guy of principle. Yeah, let's go over some of these. Ron Paul supports decriminalizing marijuana and ending the war on drugs, which is an out-of-control federal power grab, the basis of their whole martial law grid now. Uh, Ron Paul supports the freedom to choose what you eat and drink, including raw milk, but the Obama administration has launched an all-out war uh, and armed raids on raw milk farmers, including those wicked Amish, oh, <laughs> Al-Qaeda arms. And it goes on, um, Ron Paul would seek to eliminate FDA censorship of the scientifically validated health claims of herbs, nutritional supplements, and natural remedies. Number four, Ron Paul would shut down secret military prisons like Gitmo, but Obama wants to expand those. Uh, and fill those prisons with Americans, NDAA. Ron Paul is anti-war. Obama is pro-war. You prove it with documented links. Ron Paul wants to end the Fed and stop bailing out wealthy bankers while Obama, the Wall Street sellout, so are the other Republican candidates. Ron yeah. Paul does not need a teleprompter to tell you what he believes, and his message has remained consistent for over 25 years. Ron Paul is not really a Republican. He's a constitutionalist libertarian. Ron Paul wants to legalize free speech again. Number 10, Ron Paul wants to criminally investigate the crooks in Washington. Uh, and uh, there you go, real hope and change and not a globalist being attacked by the entire media corporate prostitute system. That, that's, the, that's the seal of goodness right there, my friend. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Anyone the press attacks, uh, that's the person you should probably vote for because they're the ones who are going to dismantle the status quo and bring down that whole system of deep corruption that now infects Washington and, well, we can't even call it the mainstream media anymore. It's the crooked corporate-run media. Uh, I like how you said we shouldn't use the term mainstream media anymore. What, what term are you using, Alex? I haven't found one to describe treacherous, uh, mercenary, propaganda systems, zombie control signal. Uh, uh, you know, Joseph Goebbels acolytes. Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, I think. I mean, I think dinosaur uh, whore media. I, I don't know. What do you think, Mike? I mean, we need to get one term, start using it as a meme. We, we do need one term. I, I agree. I, I, I kind of like when you use the term corporate-run media. Uh, I also like fake media. Um, but I haven't, I haven't figured out one doesn't really just stick with us yet. We do need one term that hoax that we all media. Use. Yeah. Mainstream hoax media. So when you hear the word mainstream, it's hoax media. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Corporate whore hoax media. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sell out, it's... treacherous, traitor, scumbag, teleprompter reading, uh, arrogant people that think you're sheep media. Did you see the official Fox News postcard for Christmas they put out publicly showing their viewers as sheep? <laughs> no, I, I didn't see that one, but uh, nothing surprises me anymore. Uh, in fact, Infowars, of course, has been covering the you know the, the elections here, the the Republican nomination election, elections, uh, in depth and really exposing a lot of the lies of the media. How they just they continue to leave Ron Paul out, and again, this is the reason that you should support Ron Paul because the media doesn't want him to win, and and why don't the Washington insiders want him to win? Because he would dismantle so much of the system that keeps those those corrupt fat pigs in Washington well fed at the public trough.